but I just hate that I have to keep doing it. I've done it three times already. So at some point it's like, is this feature really worth it? Hey guys, it's Bianca. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is going to be the second video in this series that I'm doing on my channel. And for a little bit of backstory, we moved into this house about three months ago and we got all new appliances for the house. The sellers did take their fridge and their washer and dryer, so when we knew that was happening, we decided to just get all new appliances. And we've had them all for about a month and a half. And we went with the GE Cafe series, and I'm just giving my first impression review of these appliances on my channel. This is not a sponsored video. We purchased all of these appliances on our own, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So for today's video, I am covering the double oven electric range. There are a few versions of this range through CAFE. This is the one without induction, but it does have the convection oven, and it is currently selling for a little over $2,600 at Home Depot. I will link it in the description box below, so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. At our old house, we did not have an electric stove. We had a gas stove. So this is something that was completely new to me, something that has taken a little bit of time to get used to, but I'm really liking it so far. I think that this is a great range and I love the fact that it has a double oven. I feel like one of the main differences that sets it apart from other double oven ranges is the fact that the bottom is a convection oven. So it does convection baking and convection roasting, which the baking aspect of it is really good if you are a heavy baker of like pastries and stuff like that. One thing you'll notice about this range is that the knobs are actually at the base of the range instead of at the top. So you'll see that there is a gap right here because the oven that we replaced had the knobs at the top. So the border for the countertop did not extend behind that oven. So when we removed it, we do have a gap here. We haven't decided what we're going to do with it, whether we're going to extend the tile down or paint over it. But for now, it's fine. <laughs> Another thing that is great about this cooktop range is that it has a control panel that has a touch screen. So for all you techie people out there, this is pretty cool. You can actually hook this up to your phone. There is an app that you can use and you can set the oven to preheat, bake, you can set the temperature and you can even set a cook timer. So I feel like that's pretty convenient if you're, you know, hanging out on the couch and you want to preheat the oven because you know you're about to put some food in there. That is really convenient. And then as I mentioned in the previous video about the microwave, there is something called Chef Connect, which allows you to connect the clock so that they're in sync with each other. And also you can connect the overhead light and the fan so that when you turn a knob on the range it automatically turns the light and the fan on while you're cooking on the cooktop. So now that I covered those brief items I wanted to talk about, now I want to get into the pros and cons of this range. My first pro, which was actually my first pro in the microwave video, is aesthetics. These appliances are definitely really aesthetically pleasing. All of the appliances that we picked are stainless steel, so they all look really nice together and cohesive. And then it also has the signature copper tag that says cafe on it. So all of the appliances have that, which makes it look really aesthetically pleasing inside your kitchen. My second pro is the burner sizes. So there are four different burners on this range, and then there is a warming burner in the center. And the two front burners have multiple burner sizes. So the front right one has three burner sizes and the front left one has two burner sizes. And I feel like that's pretty convenient when you obviously will have multiple pan and pot sizes. So that makes it easier to target what you're trying to heat. And honestly, it works pretty well. The burner will turn red immediately once you turn it on. The third pro is the double oven feature. Back when we were researching these appliances, I didn't even know that a double oven was an option in the slide-in oven. I thought that you could only have a double oven if it was in the wall. So when I saw this, I was like, that is genius and perfect because since this is our first house purchase and much bigger than the previous home that we came from, 
we knew that in a non-COVID world, we would most likely be hosting a lot of holidays and having a double oven is great for hosting holidays because you can cook multiple things at one time. So I was super excited about that feature. My fourth pro is the Wi-Fi connection, which allows you to connect this oven to your phone so that you can do all of the features that I talked about in the beginning of this video, where you can preheat it, set the temperature, and set the cook timer. And it'll also communicate to your phone. And if you have a smartwatch too, which I do have an Apple Watch, you can connect it to there as well, so that if you're preheating and you go and do something else, you will receive an alert when the preheat is complete. My fifth pro is the touchscreen control panel. It's really convenient, it is nicely backlit, and it is where you control the oven, so you can set it to bake, roast, broil, you can even do the steam clean option, and that's how you also set up the Wi-Fi feature as well as the Bluetooth Chef Connect feature. My sixth pro, which I have more pros than cons in this video, because this is honestly a really great oven range, but my sixth pro is the backlit knob. So when you turn one of the burners on, or even the oven light, because the oven light is also a knob as well. So when you turn those on, the knob actually lights up, which isn't something that I thought I would have needed, but it is nice when you turn it and see that it's lit up, you know which one you actually turned on, because I have definitely made the dumb mistake of turning a burner on, sticking a pot on the burner, and that wasn't the one that I turned on. So I think that that is a good feature. And then my seventh and final pro is that it is easy to clean. So as I mentioned before, in our previous house, we had a gas range. That was a little difficult to keep clean because there were just a lot of pieces. You know, you had to take the rack off and the little burner tops and soak those and then wipe everything down. This is just a cooktop range, so it's a flat surface, easy to use a cooktop surface cleaner. I use the Wayman products, they're really good. If you do get burnt stuck on stuff on here, you just use a razor to scrape it off and that to me is really simple. So I like that it's easy to clean. All right, so those are all my pros. Let's get into the cons. My number one con and my biggest pet peeve right now is the fact that the top oven door is lopsided. So I didn't notice if it was like this when they installed it or if it just happened over time, but the top door is lopsided right now and it's only noticeable when you're really staring hard. It took me a bit to notice it, so like I said, I don't know if it happened when they installed it or what, but this is something that we're gonna have to reach out to GE about because I'm not really sure. My husband Frank tried to take a look at it and see if it was just sitting incorrectly or if there was something stuck in there that was causing it to just like look lopsided, but nothing visible in there. So I don't know, we're gonna have to call them and see what to do about that. My second con is that boiling water takes a long time. As I said before, this is my first electric range, so I don't know if that's just normal, but I kind of hate that it takes so long to boil water because I'm very impatient. So that is why I listed it as a con, but if you've had electric ranges before and that's just a normal thing, then I'm sure it's not a big deal to you. And then my third and final con is the fact that the Chef Connect will disconnect sometimes. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's our weak Wi-Fi connection in this house or the fact that we've had a lot of storms lately and our power keeps disconnecting. I don't know if that's the reason, but the Chef Connect that connects the oven and the microwave together will disconnect from time to time. So that feature that I mentioned when you turn the knob and it's supposed to kick the light and the fan on, that won't happen sometimes and I'll have to reconnect the two, but it's not that big of a deal. It takes like two seconds to reconnect it, but I just hate that I have to keep doing it. I've done it three times already. So at some point it's like, is this feature really worth it? And I said in the microwave video that I really liked it and that was before I noticed that it kept disconnecting. I have used both of these ovens. I've baked in the top oven and I've also done some convection roasting of veggies in the bottom oven. So both ovens definitely perform really well. I haven't used every single feature yet, like the broil option, but once I do get to use every feature of this oven range, even the steam clean feature, then I will be sure to come back to my channel and update you guys on all of that. But that is about everything that I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and turn on that bell so you don't miss when I post my next video. 
I have two more appliances in the cafe series line to cover, so that would be the fridge and the dishwasher. Oh, and if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and helps to promote this video for those who are looking for reviews on these appliances. But that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye. Which is real. Which the bake. Back where we went. Blech.